gosh. <laughs> What's going on? Bill, I, I've been looking for my soap. Your soap. Um, okay. Now, what pond are we going to? Pond? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to a pond. Oh, yeah, you said so. I said so. Yeah? You said something about being baptized. And all us turtles, well, we take a bath in a pond. <laughs> I see. Well, I really wasn't talking about taking a bath. No? No. You didn't need to get ready for a bath. You didn't need the shower cap. Or the towel. What about the rubber duck? <laughs> no, not even a rubber duck. Oh, well, that's too bad. I was looking forward to it. <laughs> we were going to talk about John the Baptizer. Oh, yeah, I think we talked about him last time. Yes, we did. Yeah, but now in our story, he's a grown man. Oh, time went by fast. Yeah, didn't it? Now he's a grown man, and he's doing just what God had said he would do. He's telling everybody that the Messiah is coming, God's son. And they need to get ready. Oh, well, they gotta take a bath and get themselves clean, that's it. No, it wasn't that. That's not how they were to clean themselves. Not with soap? No. Well, what would you use, Windex? No. Comet? No. Bleach? No, not bleach either. That's not how we get ourselves clean. It isn't. No. This is cleaning on the inside. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you do there. <laughs> well, John was telling them in order to get ready for Jesus to come, they had to be clean on the inside. They had to repent of the wrong things they had done. They had to turn away from themselves and turn to God. Oh. Well, I, I don't know a lot about that. Well, that's what they were to do. And after they had done that, and many people did, many people confessed their sins. They asked God to forgive them of the wrong they had done. And they wanted, him to, they wanted to follow him. And as a result, they would be baptized. Oh, that's where they have a bath. Well, not really. But... There would be crowds of people there, and they would watch as these people that had asked Jesus to save them, to make them clean, would go down into the water with John, and he would put them down in the water, and then he'd raise them back out of the water. And by doing so, they were showing everybody there that they were leaving their life of sin. They were had died to sin. And they were being raised in newness of life. God had given them new life. New life in Christ. A brand new clean heart on the inside. And they wanted everyone to know. Oh, okay. So there were many people that were baptized. And John would be down by the Jordan River. And many people would come and listen to him. Many would repent of their sins. And many would want to follow God. And they would be baptized in that river. But one day, Jesus was in the crowd. And John saw him and he pointed him out to everybody and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. See, John knew that Jesus was the one who was one day going to sacrifice his own life on a cross to take the punishment for sin, just like they would do in the temple every day with the lamb. That lamb would take the place of the one who had done wrong. So they wouldn't have to die. Well, Jesus, who has done no wrong, who did no wrong, was going to die in our place so that we could be forgiven. Oh, so he is the lamb. Yes, he's the lamb. And that at that time, he asked John to baptize him, and John said, you should be baptizing me. But Jesus said, let it be so. He wanted to 
in complete obedience to everything God had asked him to do. He wanted to follow God's plan for his life. And so John took him down into the water and he baptized him. And when he came up out of the water, it says the clouds parted and there was a voice from heaven that spoke and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Oh, that was God. That was God the Father, that's right. And then it says the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove, a bird, yeah, and landed on him. And John knew, and so would have everybody that was watching, that this really was the Son of God. God had said, this is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. And you know, that day, Jesus began his ministry. Everybody now knew, everybody that was there, now knew that this was the one that John had been proclaiming, announcing he had come. Oh yeah, he had. But you know, just like those people back then that stood around the Jordan River, some believed and some didn't. And you know that we have a decision to make too. Every one of us. You know, the Bible tells us we all sin. We all do wrong. But just like John the Baptist had told everyone, we need to repent. We need to turn from our sin and turn to God. In fact, Romans 10 verse 9 says, If we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, we will be saved. Just like they were saved back then, we can be saved. Our sins can be forgiven because of the Lamb of God who came to take away the sin of the world. Well, boys and girls, thanks for joining us. And I hope as we look at the life of Jesus that you will come to realize that he is the Savior of the world and he can be your Savior too. You got anything to say, Flash? Yeah, anybody see my rubber duck? Or my soup? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Say goodbye, Flash. Oh, goodbye, Flash.